Oracle Database 23C developer release is now available for free on the Oracle website. You can use this build to test out some of the new features that will be available in the full release and also see how they can improve your development. In this episode, let's take a look at how we can transform PLSQL aggregate values to and from JSON. The JSON constructor has been enhanced to accept an instance of a corresponding PLSQL aggregate type returning a JSON object or array type populated with the aggregate type data. The JSON value operator has also been enhanced so that its returning clause can accept a type name that defines the type of the instance that the operator is to return. JSON constructor support for aggregate data types streamlines data interchange between PLSQL applications and languages that support JSON. The example you're seeing on screen uses a simple dot notation syntax to select a field from some textual JSON data that is not known to the database to be well formatted. It converts the data to JSON type data before selecting. The constructor JSON raises an error if its argument is not well formed. Let's take a look at how we can convert a VRA to a JSON array using the example on screen. When VRAs are converted to JSON arrays, each element of the collection is inserted into the JSON array beginning with the element at the smallest collection index and ending with the element at the largest collection index. The indices are not transferred to the JSON array, only the element value. To convert a JSON array into a PLSQL collection, the JSON array elements are inserted one by one into the collection. Insertion begins with the first element in the JSON array inserted at index 1 of the PLSQL collection and ends when the last JSON array element is inserted into the collection. On screen, we can see an example of how we can convert an associative array to a JSON object using the JSON constructor. The process of converting an associative array to a JSON object consists of inserting every associative array key and value into the JSON object as a name value pair. When JSON objects are mapped into associative arrays, each JSON key name and value pair is inserted into the associative array based on the ordering and or the collection of the associative array. Associative array key names are case sensitive and the insert preserves the case of the JSON key name. For more information on these changes and to see more examples of how you can convert PLSQL aggregate types to and from JSON, please make sure to check out the documentation at the links on screen. Thank you very much for your attention, I hope you found the information useful. If you're interested, you can download the Database 23C developer release for free from the Oracle website. And please make sure to also check community.oracle.com if you have any questions or if you just want to chat with us. Please don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Happy coding!